Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It has been almost a month since I've done a video on the channel for the simple reason I lost access to my YouTube account. I couldn't get into it. I thought it had been hacked but thankfully after a long long way I've managed to get back on the channel. Uh, I managed to get back on the channel first and I had zero subscribers um, so I decided to make a new YouTube channel which if you saw you might have seen it over my Instagram um, but I didn't go ahead with that I thought I'll pursue this I'll try and get the subscribers back uh, and all the videos back which I have managed to do now thank the Lord I literally put so much time and effort into this and seeing it gone like that I just woke up one morning and it was gone um, really did demotivate me to record to even play I've not even played <clears throat> whilst trying to get this account back uh, after uh, well, it was shortly after Christmas, shortly after the New Year, so it's been a long time. Um, but yesterday, we did get the release of Season 2 in Modern Warfare. So I'm going to be covering the Battle Pass in today's video. As you can see, we've got 13,000 COD points loaded up to the account. Um, Rust has been added in. There's a load of cool new features with a uh, Battle Royale mode soon to be. If you hop back into the main menu, if you've not actually paid attention or noticed this, there is a classified option, which is believed to be a uh, battle royale mode it's called war zone or something similar along them lines um so yeah pretty much in today's video we're going to be analyzing the battle pass and um, seeing what it's got to offer i know there's a lot of cool things i know the ump 45 is potentially back in the game i've seen screenshots and what have you uh, i know it's not called that but it's called something similar uh, but anyway hopping straight into the battle pass so uh how do i purchase this we i struggled to do this before claim battle pass tokens we might as well claim them See where we're at after we've claimed the Battle Pass tokens. I'm not sure how many we have. Uh, is there any way to skip this? Is there? I don't think there is. Okay. I, I want to... There we go. That's what I was after. Purchase the Battle Pass. Let's do this. See what we've got. I'm going to purchase it all straight away without looking at anything. I'll try to at least... Um, can I skip this? Let's skip this. Let's go all the way to the end. Buy 79 tiers. Let's buy that. I don't have enough COD points, I'll be right back, let's load some more COD points into the account. Okay, we've got the COD points added on, we're going to buy this now, 79 tiers, obviously I've purchased the first 25, whatever it is, with the bonus thing. Hopefully we can get some awesome things, the battle pass last time round, I didn't think was that interesting at all, and if you guys have noticed as well, I have had a little switch around of the setup, just a little bit of a different angle, a little bit of a different backdrop. We're going to skip this straight away, battle pass 2 is complete, boom, first day. So let's hop straight into the start and let's analyse what we actually have. Obviously we have the Ghost skin, very very awesome, obviously everyone wants this right now. Obviously Ghost back in the day in Modern Warfare 2, if you know him, very iconic character in the Call of Duty series. Another skin which I'm not really bothered about, a time traveller watch which just displays the time by the looks of things, nothing too interesting. Season 2 XP boost, um, I'm not entirely sure what that is, is that double XP, I don't know, but anyway. We've got a Dusk uh, Light Machine variant, I think that might, I don't even know what LMG that is to be honest. Corner Calling Card, pretty decent, an hour of double XP which is always great. Second Coming Emblem, looks pretty cool. We've got a Blood Letter Combat Knife, seems to have a little bit of a crocodile skin on there, looks very very clean. 100 COD points, 1 hour of double XP. We've got the Sterling Marksman Rifle uh, variant which I think would I think that's the car, 98, I think. Uh, rookie movie weapon charm, which don't really, it's just a chess piece by the looks of things. Um, another skin, another emblem, 100 cob points, 1 hour double XP, always great. A spray, which I don't really bother about sprays, don't use them, I don't even know how to use them in this game, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've got an MP5 variant, I do believe. Oh no, this is not, it looks like the MP5, no, this is a new weapon. This is a new weapon, let's preview this. Is this, is this the one that's meant to be the UMP45? It looks very similar. I could be wrong. This could be the UMP. I'll have to check that because I know there's another weapon further on. But I think that is the UMP45 or meant to be the UMP45. Um, it is, is that an assault rifle? It is an assault rifle. So maybe not. It looks similar to something else though. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't look like the UMP if you ask me. But anyway. New firing season calling card, 100 cod points. We've got the Ice Storm uh, shotgun, which I think is the 725. Buffalo Hunter weapon operator skin. We have the Bengal, which looks like a blueprint for the MP7. 
We've got a em another emblem. We have 45 minutes of weapon double XP, I think that is. 100 cop points, a task force one for one. Weapon charm, very cool. 30 minutes of weapon XP again. Oh, wait, what is that then? If that's weapon XP, what is that one? I do not know, if I'm being perfectly honest. We've got a nuke sticker. We have a two town uh, SA pistol variant. Uh, not even sure what pistol that is, if I'm being honest either. Uh, a spray, 30 minutes double XP, run and gun, operator skin, striker 45. Now, this is a weapon as well. Wait, what? This looks exactly the same as the other one. Am I, miss I think I'm definitely missing something. That's his base weapon. That's his base weapon. See, it's not a variant, otherwise it wouldn't. They look exactly the same. Look at that one. If we go back, whatever it is, they look very similar. Like, literally the same. Except this is an SMG. So I'm going to lean more towards that this is the UMP45 then. Yeah, yeah, hard hitting S submachine gun chambered in point forty five at auto. So yeah, UMP45, that, that's got to be the UMP then. Looks very awesome to be fair, but they look exactly the same. Don't have a clue what's going off there. 100 COD points, again, digital ink watch. We have a ink spiller calling card. Uh, Chroma blueprint for a, a dragon of that is. Uh, dual weapon XP token. Um, we have airdrop emblem. Another weapon skin. Weapon charm uh, chipped in. What is that? Oh, it's an operator skin. For some reason, because he was doing that. I thought it was a uh, email or something like, something along them lines. 100 cut points again. We have the Bloodhound uh, shotgun variant for the... I forget the name of the shotgun. Does it tell me? Does it tell me? It's not going to tell me, is it? It's not going to tell me. I can't remember. Uh, one hour double XP. An emblem. A sticker even, should I say. Oh, we've got a battle tested. Oh, no. I thought this was a new gun. What's this for, then? That's the kilo, isn't it? Yeah, that's a kilo variant, looks pretty decent. 15 minutes of double XP, uh, weapon XP, 100 cod points, a fog of war calling card. Um, nothing too special apart from the UMP so far. Black and blue weapon skin, uh, operator skin, line breaker weapon skin for the. Is that the car again? Is that the car? Oh no, I think it's like the M14 the EBR, I think. We've got a stronghold emblem. 15 minutes of double weapon XP, filler up weapon charm, which is a petrol can, uh, hot nugget, which is a weapon skin again, sort of like the sand desert theme that I've seen on a lot of weapons recently. I think that's for, that's for Deagle. 100 cob points, one hour of double XP, many masters sticker. I've not seen any cool calling cards or emblems yet, which is worrying me. I hope there's something really cool as well. We've got the die cast weapon variant as well. Um, operator skin again, spray. We've got a red ratio, which is the kill death ratio watch, which is awesome. I held off from buying it before because they did release a, I think it was about, I think it was like 20 pounds worth of COD points, however much that is. I can't remember. And you got a watch, which is exactly the same as this, pretty much different colors. Uh, but told you kills in death in game, which is handy to know because a lot of the game modes in this year don't tell you actual deaths which is highly annoying at times we've got the inked squad which is actually a very cool calling card looks like i've got ghosts on there don't really know who the other people are but that is a pretty cool calling card if you do ask me we've got the gulf stalker weapon skin 100 cod points a emblem which is pretty cool 30 minutes of double xp uh, we've got live wire weapon charm which looks like the crocodile clips um electrics if you, if you know what I mean we've got the June breaker weapon skin leecher which is a SMG for, for the org thingy the org variant should I say um, the one hour double XP 100 cup points uh, a spray again rush broken mark from rifle skin this one looks pretty cool very like a sort of goldish effect kind of we've got a calling card which looks decent Nothing too major stand out like something like I'm smashing the tears right now. Uh, we've got 45 minutes of double weapon XP. We've got Blessings Emblem, which does move it's like a flying care package. Uh, okay, there's a new update. The game will now restart. Okay, we're back on. Finally, it took ages to do that for some weird reason, but we have the polarized operator skin, 
the Tycoon weapon variant, which is for the Magnum, looks pretty cool to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. 100 COD points, 50 minutes double XP, Lethal Tender Weapon Charm. We have the Shadow Sight Blueprint for the MP5, I do believe. Oh, wait, no. Assault Rifle is the Kilo, isn't it? It looks like a. It looks so small, man. It looks pretty cool, to be fair. Wrecking Ball Sticker, 50 minutes of double weapon XP. The Fallen Spray, we have another skin for the AK 47. We have a Operator Skin, 100 COD points, Ghost Wind Calling Card. Probably the coolest one we've seen so far. Not bad. Still not amazing. We've got an Emblem Precision 2, so it puts your emblem on the watch, I do believe. I'm pretty sure. We have a Solitary Emblem. We have a Usurper. I don't even know how you say that. A weapon skin for a LMG. I think it's the... I don't know. Double XP token. We have a Weapon Charm, which is Ghost's Face. Uh... We have COD points, we have the Tempest sticker, we have Ghosted, which is another skin for Ghost, but a bit more, I don't know, cool. And we've got Undertaker, which is the 100th tier uh, weapon variant for the submachine gun, which I do believe is the UMP45, supposedly, with a holographic sight and a suppressor on it. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. We've got a finishing move. And we have Season 2 Emblem for getting all the tiers. And that's pretty much it. This video has turned out to be a lot longer than expected. I'm going to show this quickly, which is my start of an upcoming video, which I did record um, in the midst of this whole dilemma with the channel. We have a 47 gun streak. So I got a 47 gun streak. It's insane, insane game. But I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that they have added... If I go on my calling card real quick, they added a um, nuke calling card now. So if you get a nuke, you get a calling card for it and a nuked out. I've had two nukes before this update and I don't have the calling card, which is a shame. I feel like they should just figure out whose account has a nuke and put the calling card into account. That would be a little bit more fair. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get another one. It doesn't happen every single day. Let's be honest. Um, I'm going to rock the, that calling card to show people I've completed it. But anyway, if you guys are new around here and you do want to see more daily Call of Duty content just like this one, I'm going to be grinding the UMP right now and hopefully do a video on that for you straight away as soon as possible. But if you do want to see more, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you do smash that like button as well. It does mean a lot to me. If you want, check out my Instagram as well. Link is always down in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.